the Turkish novelist reflects on the recent election and what comes next. In a University of California, Berkeley study of students from more than 200 countries, aiming to measure the degree to which respondents had found life unpredictable, uncontrollable and overwhelming, those coming from Turkey scored among the highest on perceived stress. Had the researchers come to Turkey and talked with the people prior to the parliamentary elections, on June 7, however, they would have probably assessed a world record for collective stress, most of which was triggered by politics. No doubt this was the most stressful Turkish election in recent memory. Many voters felt like they were casting their votes not only to choose who represents them, but also to decide the future of the regime for many decades to come. In no other ballot had so much been at stake. In no other election time had there been this much pressure on the citizens to make fateful decisions. The primary reason for this was no other than President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who seemed determined to confuse democracy with majoritarianism and to turn the vote into a springboard that would launch him into an all-powerful position. Erdogan's target was to make his Justice and Development Party known by its Turkish initials AKP, obtained the necessary majority in the parliament to change the constitution and thus replace the parliamentarian system with a presidential model. For this purpose he campaigned relentlessly, even though the president has to be neutral and remain at an equal distance from all parties. As to the new system that he wanted to introduce, no one quite knew what would its bounds be but it was clear it would be closer to the Russian than the American model of presidency.